we're talking to Bomani Jones of the Mothership. I also go back to the Ali O.J. Simpson. Ali scared white America, at least a portion of white America. O.J. Simpson didn't. Like, white America embraced O.J. Simpson at that same time. So I go back to those two. I just find it, you know, fascinating, you know, that here we are covering those two in the same weekend. But I think white America said, O.J., yeah, he's, he seems like a nice man. We're going to wel- welcome him into our living room here. Well, they went past the living room. Like, the most interesting thing is, if anybody has ever, like, come close to actually transcending race, O.J. came really, 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 <laughs> really close. And there are parts in the film that talk about how, you know, how he saw himself as being set apart. Like, the FX series had the whole, I'm not black, I'm O.J. line. But he actually believed that. Like, he really got to a point where he thought that he could pull that off. Where Ali, on the other hand, was demanding that you acknowledge his blackness and respect it at every turn. And now we get to where we are at the end, and we've got people trying to kind of ignore the blackness of Muhammad Ali to make him a more universal figure. And OJ, black as he ever going to be. Ain't no getting out of that now. Like, like here you are. Like, from 1994 on, the black portion of OJ Simpson's life began. As hard as he tried to run from it, he never, ever could. But isn't there a, a part in the documentary where they wanted to make O.J. more black, so they went in and exchanged photographs in his house to, to take down the white photographs of friends and put up black photographs? Yes, because the thing, the thing about that, because the FX series had that part also. Yeah. It was less about making O.J. black as it was hiding the fact that O.J. did not associate with but a handful of black people. Like, he had just completely divorced himself from the black experience in that way, where all the people in his house, with some exceptions, were all white people, right? Like, that's just all it was. And so the (laughs) idea that if you're going to say, hey, O.J. Simpson has been treated poorly by the system because he's black, it don't really sell so well with the jurors when you get in there and there's nothing but pictures with a bunch of white people on the wall, specifically a bunch of white women and no black ones. That was the thing. They're like, oh, hold on, we got to flip this. We got to change this. (laughs) Show weekday mornings on audience.